It's one of the most destructive and invasive species right now, according to USDA, but work continues to try and manage them. We're talking about feral hogs. The agency estimates there are over 6 million of them across the nation, causing $2.5 billion in damages every year to crops, forestry, livestock, and pastures. In 2014, USDA established the National Feral Swine Damage Management Program. Farm Journal's Pork Business reporting on the progress, saying that to date, the initiative has worked with 41 states and three territories. You see the feral swine population from 2021 in purple in this map. It reports it has removed all feral swine from 11 states. They include Colorado, Idaho, Iowa, New York, Washington, and Wisconsin. Texas and California have also ramped up hunting measures. Can cultivated meat be exercised? One food company thinks so. The company is called Meatech 3 d The company says on its website it uses science and technology to develop high-quality meat products that are made from cells rather than animals. This is video on YouTube from the company of how it prints steaks. It says it has developed a system to apply external force to muscle tissue. Meatech says it's created a system that allows cultured muscle tissue to strengthen and enhance in a way that mimics how a cow's muscles are developed while it walks and grazes. They say this helps enhance their meat's fibrous texture that includes the right elasticity, density, and taste.